Well, about uh, one, 1 or one thirty this morning, my wife came upstairs and woke me up. And when she did, my room was full of smoke. And, uh, uh, I thought our house was on fire. It was so hot in my room. And my window had already cracked. And I started panicking. And so I got my boy. My boys and went downstairs. And I got a 13 and a 17-year-old here. And I just thought our place was on fire. And she was telling, she was trying to tell me it was that warehouse was burning, but I was just wasn't registering. I was just in panic mode. And uh, we got everybody outside to make sure everything's okay. It was just it was unbelievable here. What's going on? A uh, whole week series of arsons every night. Some kind of fire every night. They burn up three cars one night. Uh, burn a place up, up above us here the night before. And I understand they had a mobile phone, mobile home on fire when they distracted them and burnt this thing down. Uh, police sent in and out of here every night. <coughs> and they seem to can't get nothing done and get them took out of here. And we need some help to get these people out of here. They're, they're a hazard to all of us. I mean, we could have died here last night very easily. Uh, being in bed at 1 o'clock in the morning, and it's just, we need help. I didn't really even see the fire that seemed to glow until I got outside and then I just couldn't believe my truck was sitting there and, and the fenders was burning on it. I could not believe this much, how intense that heat and that fire was. It was unbelievable. It was unimaginable. How, and we were out back and you could feel it so hot. I mean, it melted the siding off my garage, which is way further down than this house. So it was a very intense fire. It was, it was like an inferno there.